the name of Jesus. We have the victory. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We come and hand over the shaka. 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 Are you happy to be here? I'm going to say hello to your neighbor. Show that big smile. <laughs> Amen. So before we, we move on with prayers, I would like to read something small and then we proceed with prayers. Right? You can open your Bibles in the book of Daniel, chapter 6, adding uh, verse number. Okay, can start from verse number 1. Two verses there. Uh, an amazing story. Daniel 6. Starting from verse number one. But the key verse is verse number 10. But I want to get the background before we, we dwell on verse number 10. Amen? Are we there? Amen. So, I need to say, 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 I need to Na, na juu yao akaweka wakubwa watatu na Daniel alikuwa mmoja wao ili maliwali ha, ili maliwali hawa watoe hesabu kwao mfalme asipate hasara Sasa watatu basi Daniel huyo alipata sifa kuliko wakubwa na maliwali kwa kuwa roho bora ilikuwa ndani yake amen ikutokee wewe pia katika china la Yesu Roho bora hiyo ndani yako. Amen. Usifiwe sala usinikwenu. Amen. Kwa kuwa roho bora ilikuwa ndani yake, naye mfalme akaazimu kumweka juu ya ufalme wote. Verse number 4. Basi mawaziri na maamiri wakatafuta sana kupata sababu za kumshtaki Daniel kwa habari za mambo ya ufalme. Lakini hawakuweza kuona sababu wala kosa kwa maana alikuwa mwaminifu. Amen na kuombea na uwe mwaminifu watakao weta majungu washindo kwa china la Yesu amen wala halikuonekana kosa wala hatia ndani yake let it be to you in the name of jesus ndipo wale watu wakasema hatutapata sababu ya kumshtaki ndani ya hiyo tusipoipata katika mambo ya sheria ya Mungu wake bas wale mawaziri na maamini wakakusanyika pamoja mbele ya mfalme wakamwambia hivi mfalme Dario uishi milele mawaziri wote wa ufalme na manaibu na maamiri na majiwani na maliwali wamefanya shauri pamoja ili kuweka amri ya mfalme na kupiga ya kupiga, na kupiga marufuku ya kwamba mtu yoyote atakayeomba dua kwa Mungu awaye yote au kwa mtu awaye yote katika muda wa siku 30 ila kwako E mfalme atatupwa katika tugo la simba. Sasa e mfalme pika marufuku ukatie sahihi maandiko haya ya sibadilike. Kama yungo shiria ya wamedi na kwa jemi isioweza kubadilika. Basi mfalme dario akayatie sahihi maandiko yale na hile marufuku. Mstari wa kumi ya uchivers. E, Ata Danieli alipojua ya kuwa yale maandiko ya mekusha kutio sahihi akaingia nyumbani mwake na madirisha katika chumba chake alikuwa amefunguliwa kukabili Yerusalem akapiga magoti mara tatu kila siku akasali akashukuru mbele za Mungu wake kama alikuwa akifanya tokea hapo amen bwana asifiwe sana kwa hiyo tuna 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 story moja amazing hapa kuhusiana na mtumishi wa Mungu ambaye anaitwa Daniel story tunaifahamu sana amen 
lakini kuna some few tips nataka tushirikiane before we also continue to our second phase ya maombi yetu amen kitu cha kwanza eh tunamuona mtu anaitwa Daniel amen kuna miss nyingi ambazo zipo sasa hivi mara nyingi inaonekana maombi yanatumika kama tuseme nini ukiwa una shida ndio you run into prayer amen hiyo ni notion ambayo imejengewa kwa watu wengi sana lakini kuna kitu kizuri ambacho tunajifunza kwa Daniel Daniel alikuwa ni prime minister ni mtu mkubwa sana amen kama ubize basi uko busy amen lakini ukisoma ule msara wa kumi unapata picha kwamba Daniel kabla wao hawaja 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 na ile na ile na ule mtega wote wa kumkamata aliendelea na maisha ya kuomba mara tatu kwa siku akifungua madirisha kuelekea Yerusalemu amen hilo ni jambo ni darasa kubwa sana kwetu sisi mara nyingi unaweza ukawa busy kazini au ukipata promotion maombi yanaya nini <laughs> ya nashuka au kiolewa huduma ina <laughs> lakini kwa Daniel that was not so kwa hiyo kuna attitude au ma, 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 mambo machache ambayo tunaweza tukayachukua out of this passage kutujifunza katika maisha yetu kama wakristo jambo la kwanza unaweza ukapata kwamba katika maisha ya Daniel alijawekea moyo wake kwamba maombi ni muhimu prayer is important kwa hiyo that, that is lesson number one tunapata kwamba uh, Daniel alijawekea moyo wake kwamba prayer is important niwe kwenye crisis nisiwe kwenye crisis kwa sababu uki, uki, if you read it carefully utaona kwamba it's like walimwangalia huyu jamaa anataka kusali and there was peace amani ilikuwepo lakini he used to open the windows and face Jerusalem three times a day he's a prime minister very big guy eh? kwa hiyo that is lesson number one. maombi ni muhimu whether we are in good times or bad times we don't change our prayer schedules amen that is lesson number one. lakini kuna miss nyingine uh, unaweza kutusikia mtu someone can be you can never be too busy to pray haiwezekani ukawa busy kiasi kwamba unashindwa kuomba hai for my example with Daniel nani ameshakuwa labda labda ameshakuwa labda mkoa mkoa eh rais so prime minister is is na kuongelea 120 people wako chini yake muone kwa hiyo you can never be too busy na famous statement that I have said pastor baraka It's, it's, it's your priority yani ni kipaumbele ulichokiweka hakuna kitu ambacho kiko kitakuchukulia muda mpaka yani useme siwezi kuomba ni kipaumbele wako wewe ni kipaumbele yani it comes to that kama is it a priority in your life na ukitaka mfano mzuri kwa Daniel roho njema ya Mungu unapata yani you, you connect the dots hiyo roho ya Mungu njema ile ambayo anafanya kazi ndani yake it was not just a coincidence you see his lifestyle unaona kabisa maisha yake was a man of prayer daily god had no had no objection that the spirit of god to be over him amen na kazi ile alikuwa na perform sio baka 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 perform na sema kuja na huyu akipanga ukichomu wewe mke juu ya wote hapo unakuta kwenye presentation na kiwaleta wote anaona bora ndani ni bora awe busi wao sio kwenye pata Koyo that is 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 key uh, lesson number two. You can never be too busy to pray. Or you can never be too successful that you forget to pray. God can give you the biggest job ever. But don't forget your prayer routines. Okay? And you can never be blessed. Just come ah, we don't have time to pray these days. Okay? You need to do the lesson number 3. Lakini kuna kitu kingine you can you can unaweza uka 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 kiangalia what happens if i don't pray? Usually when you don't pray pale pale you don't see the the impact. You no no na cruise tu. Lakini huko roho ni kuna mambo yanatokea. You don't see it. Then you don't see it. Ndio maana 
eh, is, is, ni rahisi sana kwa mtu ku, mtu ambaye alikuwa hivyo amepata kitu kwenye maombi akaanza kwa mjifu hapo. Kwa sababu si aone impact immediately. There is no immediate impact. Lakini kumbe with time kuna mambo ya <laughs> yanasogea. <laughs> kumbe kuna watu wanamtegea. Amen. Kwa hiyo it's 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 actually unsafe. Mtumishi wa Mungu mmoja anasema ukijiona uombi be very be concerned about yourself. Ukijiona the passion ya kuomba ime imeshuka. You use the una ukao nafunga labda mara mbili kwa wiki, unaenda mkesha ibadani. Ukiona ile ile inashuka, you should be very worried. Hata kama hakuna shida. Kwa sababu uko mbele utakuja kugundua kwamba pia maombi yako yana mchango wa kitu fulani kwenye maisha yako. Let's move on. Amen. Kwa hiyo when you don't pray kuna vitu vya kutokea immediately. You won't see the impact. Lakini baadaye kuna vitu vitatokea. Amen. Lakini pia lesson nyingine tunaiona ni kwamba prayer is the source of power and protection. Kwa sababu it looks like these guys walijaribu kuvaa nini? So they try to walijaribu kutafuta kitu yani cha kumfanyia. Na ambao hawajaokoa kwa sababu wamefanya juu juu za nguvu zote. Lakini the lifestyle ya maombi ya Daniel it was it kind of like age of protection around him you know that connection because they try mpaka baadaye yule mmoja wao anasema sisi huyu ni kwa huyu akitoa mweza huyu labda tutunge sheria ambayo ofisini kwa pili saa 4 lazima kila mtu aje report tutampata ima mosi ya tip sio za deni you don't get this person kwa it looks like walikuwa wanaendelea kumfanya nini kujaribu kum trap kwa protection aliyokuwa nayo katika maisha yake ina ina it's accounted for by the uh, lifestyle that he had amen is well, imagine what to me moja ya 20 wanapanga kumuua you think it's, it's a normal thing eh watu 100 moja ya 20 120 people about your, your colleagues at the office hey it's the one that said that that lunch Those, those people were 120 your colleagues so that time, yeah, it's, it's, it could be it could just be killed there i there was a protection around him that tells you your prayer is a source of your power and your prayer is a source of your protection amen you are invoking the angels of god to, pro, uh, to protect you when you pray uh, point number four, prayer unaona unaona ali unaona lile wazo limezaliwa kwa mfano wazo la kuye kumfanya nini kwa promoted to acquire a big thing in life you need prayer unaona yani that 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 uh, that Unajua mpaka mtu anakuwazia tu kitu. Ah, huyo, let, let me make her the boss of this department. I think she's smarter than the current boss. <laughs> Kuna kitu roho kimetokea ya. It doesn't just happen. Amen. Kama wale wenyewe wanataka upande wa pili kule usione kitu kinatokea na sisi tuna yako tuna kufanya. Amen. Kwa hiyo to acquire a godly blessing and to sustain that blessing you need prayers to acquire a good job and to sustain that good job same routine like in our christian it's like when you get a good job mshiko mwingi absentism hiyo msu kansani batiba nyingi sana unajua mchango wangu wa that is the that is the uh table of worship kwa jina la Yesu. That won't be your portion. Amen. Mungu atakufanikisha and you still continue with your schedule with the Lord. Amen. Point ya mwisho. Sorry, we go to prayer. Eh inasema for prayer to be effective, it must be habitual. Ili maombi yawe na nguvu katika maisha yako yafanye kazi lazima iwe tabia lazima iwe it must be a habit make it a habit 
how, how can someone define a habit? What is a habit? Habit. What is, can you give us one example of your habit name? <laughs> a good one. <laughs> of course, you have a good one, so <laughs> you can think of one good habit. In the car. Okay, that's a good habit. With the help, brother Baru. Yeah, prayers. We pray around the office. Me, Gianni. Kiamka. It's a good habit. Oh, me in the habit. Mo ya wageni kiona la la. Na Asha. Na macha baba na na kwamu baba. Masole shanga. Kula wale zoka. Kiamka kuto dolu na leva. Kiamka zake zuko muda sa uji. You see. Well, it's, it's, it becomes effective. Or your habits, you, you can easily change your habits. Like a yeah, it, it, you know, it becomes a part of you. Yani, that is you. It is your habit. It's like, umefanya some few actions, but then it becomes a character, but then it's a trend. But then it becomes your destiny. Isn't it? So prayer for it to be effective. Make it a habit. Make it a habit. Amen. Now we can read uh, from the book of Luke 4, 16 to 1. Maisha Yesu Luke 4, 16. Luke 4, 16. Luke 4, 16. Akaenda Nazareti Apo alipolelewa na siku ya sabato akaingia katika sinagogi kama ilivyokuwa desturi yake akasimama ili asome You see it's it's a habitual kama desturi yake kama desturi yake amen kama desturi kama ilivyokuwa desturi yake na kiona mfano mwingine ni ule ambao tumesoma Daniel 6:10 kama ilivyokuwa kama ilivyokuwa kawaida yake Make it a habit in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will see wonderful results. Let's leave this person alone. Kuna mambo machache ambayo watu wachawi kusema kuhusiana na habits. Number one, uh, kwa mfano, the strength of a man, the nguvu ya mtu comes from the habitual acts of your life. Hata mafisini, at some point, uko kio na una supervise waki. You just monitor the habits that are to promote. And tabia zao, oh, you, tabia zao does not define, does not define the sin zao. Kwa wano, mtu mgini, kilo better proposal of sin. Ah, you know, boss, you know, you know, I think, you know, <laughs> critique za kutosha, boss, I said, this guy, when you watch like you know, okay, oh, so you think this, okay, let's give it a try. It becomes a happy to a tabia hiyo, they will be promoted. Yani, tabia yake nsa may be fine, hatima yake. Anakuna kwenye vikawa na wakubwa, wakubwa na hita wakubwa mefikiria, mewaza, he doesn't challenge them. Anawasikiriza, anangalia possibility ya kutekeleza. Anangia mta for execution. You see? Kwa hiyo, it's a, it's a, uh, hatima yake inakuwa defined na habits zake. Hata kuna mambo likewise. We make it a habit our destinies will be defined by our by our hab- habits. Praying habit mchana, usiku, asubuhi, uh, around the world, kadhalika kadhalika kadhalika. Amen. Kwa I don't want to go any further. Na feel that we could it have said here kwanza kuona mamba Make an effort, my shaku, and make it a habit. Uskubai shetani akaku, akakurulisha kwenye, anataka kuzuia vitu flan. Amen. Or make it a habit, pray. Asubui, mchana, jioni, na domana tuna yendoya kumamini mungu kwa juli ya a place ambayo, yinakuwa 24-7 post ampia. And it's coming sooner than you think. Amen. Amen. Then, one chorus, Pastor Naim, and then we, we go first. Utaendelea kutaji, una itajilako, una 
Saya tak jawab kalau belum bayar, ya Allah. Teknologi ya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nusas fil, basi ambat mana? Aku cuma ini sini, bila damu ya kebuana. Sina wema wa kutosha, dhambi zangu kuziosha, kwa ke yesu na simama, liye mwamba ni salama, liye mwamba ni salama, liye mwamba ni salama, jia yangu iwendefu. Yeye unipa wakovu, mawimbi ya kini pigia Guvu za kendi yonanga, kwa ke yesu na simama Liye mwamba ni salama, liye mwamba ni salama Liye mwamba ni salama Niki itwa ukumuni Roo nini na amani Niki vi kwa haki yake Sina hofu mbele zake Kwa ke yesu na simama Liye mwamba ni salama Liye mwamba ni salama Liye mwamba ni salama Amen Baba katika jina la Yesu Christu Mwana mungu wa le hai Asante mungu kwa jiri ya wema wako Asante buwana kwa jiri ya neno Ambalo umeliatilia mchana wa leo Kusena na maisha yetu Wana umesema ya kwamba hamnavyo Kwa sababu wa muombi Na hata mkiomba muomba vibaya Wana asante kwa sabu mungu umesema tutakapo omba. Tuseme baba katika jina la yesu. Tuseme buwana tuitio ufaimu wako katika maisha yetu. Nasi buwana tunaomba msamaha. Mahala popote buwana ambapo tumekutenda zambi mchana wa leo. Tukafunga milango ya mafanikio kwenye maisha yetu. Tunaomba msamaha buwana ututakase kwa dami ya mwana kondo. Imeandikwa lakini tukiziungama zambi zetu. Wewe ni muamenifu na wahaki. Hata otondole mauvi yetu yote na na kutusafisha na uzali mwetu wote Baba tunaomba utakaso kwa dami ya mwana kondo Tunaomba utakaso buwana kwa dami ya mwana kondo Tunataka kuianza ile tabia njema ya kuwa watu wa maombi Tunataka kupanda roo ya maombi katika maisha yetu Lakini buwana tunajua ya kwamba mwanga na giza hazichangamani Nasi buwana tunaomba utakaso kwa dami yako Tunaomba utakaso kwa dami yako Maana buwana mambo mema inatoka kwako Hata roo ya kuomba buwana inatoka kwako Tunaomba neema buwana ya kuomba Tunaomba neema buwana ya kuwa watu wa maombi kwa dami ya mwana kondo katika jina la yesu Ika para bondo yeke te ima shata kapa Yere bo soto kapara mahanda kapara mama Yere bo soto kapara mashete kete Ima re bo soto kapara maharanda kapa Yende kapara bo soto kopo Ima sete kapara mashete kapa We invite you Holy Spirit Ika para mashata kapa Kwa mana sisi ya tuwezi kuomba kama itupasafio Lakini roho mtakatifu utustaidia kuomba Kwa nana ya kuugua kusiku weza kutamkwa Nasi buwana, tunaomba roa kwa mtakatifu mchana wa leho Reka para mashata kapa Yewo shoto kapara mashete kepi Yewo ndoro kapara mashata kapa Nima shete kapara bondo reka para mashete kapa Ufanya makao tena katika maisha yetu Ile roo ya kuoma, reka para mashata kapa Ile neema ya kuoma, reka para mashata kapa Leo ikawe ni tabia yetu katika china yetu Reka para mo shoto kopo Maana kini chopo ndani ya moe wangu nicho kini 
mtokatu e kaparobo soto kapara mama e yuma shete kapara mahara na kapa e robo soto kapo e robo shete kapa e yuma hara na kapo o robo shete kapara mama e robo shete kapa e yuma shete kapa the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer by the blood of Jesus the grace to pray the grace to pray father we pray for your grace the grace to be prayer people the grace to be prayer warriors let the word shut the cup by the power of holy spirit let the word shut the cup impact us oh god impact us with your power the power to pray make up our word shut up oh man i need to go now you need to pick up your phone at the power you are going to walk out of the phone make up our word shut the cup and you shall receive power let the word shut the cup let the word shut the cup by Faith, we receive power. The power of one faith. The power to pray. The power to make things happen. The power to sustain our blessings. The power to access the kingdom of God in our lives. The power to access the kingdom of God in our lives. ndani <laughs> tunapanda roho ya kuomba ndani yao tunapanda roho ya kukuswa na maana ya Bwana ndani yao katika jina la Yesu Kristo Bwana Mungu wale hai enda washete kepe enda bosotoka para mama era baba sese kapa ni mahara na kapara mama era baba shata kapa ya baba shata kapa roho mtakatifu ni mareda kapa mimi na roho wako mimi na roho wako tena era baba shata kapa majengo yote ya posta mimi na roho wako kuomba weka kiu ya kuomba tunapanda kiu ya kuomba Tunapanda kiu ya kuomba. Tunapanda kiu ya kuomba. Mchana tunapanda kiu ya kuomba. Mchana tunapanda kiu ya kuomba. Yohana tunapanda kiu ya kuomba. Maisha yetu yakawa maisha ya maombi. Maana Bwana hatunavyo kwa sababu ya tuombe. Hatuna kwa sababu ya tuombe. Nawe Bwana umesema tukiomba unatupa. Maana umesema ombeni nanyi mtapewa. Lakini hatuna kwa sababu hatuombi. Ika pale roho sotoko po. Eri mama sheteka pale mama sheteka pa. Eh haraba wa sheteka pa. Eh mama sheteka mahala mama tete kapa eh mahala boso cho eh mahala na kapa eh boso cho kapa mama eh mama tete kapa eh mama tete kapa na kila mashujaa kuzimu mchana wa leo wanaozuia watu wa Mungu wasi watu wa maombi wanaozuia wanawekea usingizi wa kichawi eh hey, ika paa leo tunaacha upanga ya rabai shataka pa yule roho kuzimu anayezuia watu wasio watu wa kuomba anayewazuia watu wasifuke kwenye matatizo yao hii raka para mashataka pe anawekea usiti wa kuomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo ya reka para mashataka pa leo tunamvua kila mapando ambayo baba wa mbinguni akuyapanda ya raba shata kapa ima reka para bahara kapa ya reka para mashete kapa ya roko boshete kapa na masete kapa ima rana kapa pando la kutokuomba ya raba shata kapa pando la usingizwa kichawi ika pando la kukata tamaha kuna ngoa kwa ndani ya mwana kondoo kuna ngoa na kuachia moto wa roho mtakatifu kwenye maisha yetu moto wa kuomba moto wa kuomba moto wa kuomba moto wa kuomba tunapokea moto wa kuomba tunapokea moto wa kuomba moto wa kuomba ya nakapara makio ya kuomba ya rala shata kapa ima mama shete kepe moyo wa kuomba ili kapara boso tokopo we pray for the heart of prayer we pray for the heart of prayer ya rala shata kapa ya rala shata kapa father plant in our hearts the heart of prayer ya rabo shete kapa ya nakapara boso tokopo ya nakapara boso tokopo ya rala shata kapa 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 Thank you Father. Ni kapa rebo soto kapa. Father we give you glory and honor. Ni mashete kapa. We thank you for you have already released you are you are, you 
tuna spirit of prayer tunasema asante bwana maana roho wako mtakatifu yuko mahali hapa na ye amesha jaa ndani yetu tayari yuko ndani yetu ili atusaidie tuwe watu wa kuomba yuko ndani yetu ili atujenge na kuchongoza asante bwana kwa ajili ya mahali hapa patakatifu asante kwa ajili ya malaika zako wanaopanda na kushuka mahali hapa asante kwa ajili ya neema hiyo jana kuongezeka katika jina la Yesu na Mungu ale hai asante bwana kwa ajili ya wakazi wa posta asante bwana maana umeanzimia kuwasaidia asante bwana maana utatuvusha asante bwana kwa ajili ya neema zako asante bwana kwa ajili ya mambo yote mema waliopanda katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu na Mungu ale hai na watu wote tuseme amen amen haleluya Amen 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 tumshangilie Bwana Amen ndio wetu mkwenda sana matangazo machache alafu tutaondoka amen Tangazo la kwanza eh tu tunazokaribisha kuchangia eh, kwa sababu hapa tunalipia hapa msini kila saa sio baba kutana Mungu atugusa kwa kiwango chochote unaweza kumtumia eh, neema ya chimu eh, kwenye SMS au kampa cash ya shida amen kwa tukaribisho kwa hilo lakini la pili masomo haya tutakao tunayaweka kwenye YouTube na fikia mmeona lipo la wiki ya kwanza na ya pili audio za kipi ya video zitakuja amen amen kwa hiyo unaweza kupitia yale maombi pia ukapendelea kujikumbusha amen wakaribishe watu kama unahitaji ile bango la WhatsApp share na watu amen amen basi tu kia mwisho wa bada yetu nitaomba kwa ajili ya matoleo alafu kama utakuwa na some few minutes you are welcome amen so bwana yesu tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya siku njema mbariki rafiki yangu ndugu yangu aliyeweza kuja kuacha shughuli zake bwana ukarudishe bwana ukaheshimu muda wake na ikawe baraka katika kazi yake katika jina la yesu bariki familia yake kazi yake katika jina la yesu kristo tunakushukuru kwa sababu umetupa muda kwa kukutana chini ya hii kwa sababu ya utukufu wako. Tunajiweka mikononi mwako, tunakabili wamisi yetu yobakia mbele zako katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen.